been playing about with genetics. No, not that sort. What I've done just recently is um, I found out you could get Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 now for free. So I've done something that I've been meaning to do for a little while, which is to mess around a little bit with genetic programming. And for those of you who don't know, the way the genetic algorithm works is that you actually devise a little computer language of your own. And the one that I devised is very, very simple. It's a single letter followed by a single number, 0 to 9, which is the parameter for that command if it needs it. So what problem did I look at? Well, the problem I looked at was drawing some abstract pictures. So, we'll just fire up Visual Basic and load up that particular project. And so, the way I approached this is I produced a language which had a lot of commands that had to do with drawing. For example, move the cursor to a particular place on the picture and change its direction because every time the program loops through an instruction it moves in that direction. And, um, well, you can see for yourself how this thing runs. Now, in the early days, obviously, you can't expect too much from it because what you're getting is a random population. But I've got some examples of things that the program has produced, which I'll show you in a slideshow in a moment. So, the first thing to do, I'm going to make a new population of 50 of these genetic programs. I'm going to call it GX. What the heck? Generation X. It's gone, it's done that. It's told me GX.pop is the one that's loaded. And I've got some buttons here. Now, uh, I've got some text as well. <laughs> text boxes. Now, in this one, I'm going to set a timeout of two seconds. So, if it takes longer than two seconds to draw, it's going to come back to me because we don't want it getting caught in an infinite loop. And the number of times it's going to loop through the program, I'm going to make it, oh, 18 or so. I can also set a maximum brush size because one of the other things, it can change the size of the brush and it can. Um, change the colours and it can change the transparency of it and these are all just random strings which I shall show you in a moment. So if I hit this one which is ASD, Auto Score and Draw, go away for a couple of seconds and it'll draw the first one. Not very inspiring because that's a fresh new creature which has never been bred with anything else. And this is the way that genetic algorithms work. What happens is I can score things. And at the moment I've got an automatic scoring that happens based on how complicated the picture is and uh, how much open space there is and things like that. And as you can see, this is scoring not very high at all. I have seen scores as high as 36 million. And these are new little creatures. They've never been bred together. They've not been... Um, therefore genetically optimised to actually produce anything really wonderful. So pretty boring really and you sit here if there's one you really want to keep you hit the keep button and the score goes up to 9 million. If there's one you really hate the look, out, look of you want to hit the kill button the score goes to nothing. 
and that ensures that the first one of those that went to 9 million will always breed the second one never ever will so let's show you some of the ones which I did earlier while this is playing around so what we want is that one which is eventually after a few generations you get to images like this you get to horrible things like that which obviously you'd give a score no I don't want to keep it <laughs> and odd lines and wonderful little patterns and this one would be great as a cloth pattern for example you get the dreaded tartan now I'm fed up with tartan I've seen an awful lot of tartan you get swirly shapes when you make the brush sizes larger and you get strange looping patterns sometimes you get kind of nice abstract Jackson Pollock type pictures and you get pictures sometimes with a bit more structure in them let's see if we can find one of those and here we go and you get these mysterious lines and Lord knows how it produced that because all it can do is draw in eight different directions and some of these lines are not at the angles that you've actually programmed it to be able to draw in which is even more mysterious
well, you could subscribe to Arduino Tronic or just go jump in a lake.